Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. All right, guys, what is up it is my big story here, and today I'm here to talk to you about the debating question. Well, I don't even know if it's a debating question, but I don't know. Is acne genetic? Is acne in your genes? Is acne in your genes? Is it? Okay, not those genes, but you know what I mean, genetic. Long story short, yes, oh. it is. <laughs> Longer version. Think about people that you know that have clear skin, yet they don't do anything to maintain that skin. They don't have a skincare routine. They don't eat properly. They don't work out. I bet you couldn't think of at least one person, but yet their skin is flawless. While you're over here drinking celery juice, running the 5K, and not consuming any sugar. Nope. I put two and two together. I guess I put that acne was genetic together when I started dating my husband because he can eat literally anything he wants and his skin is really clear. Like he has probably had one zit the whole time we've been together. And then I thought, I started thinking about his family and his family is that same way. They all eat whatever they want, do whatever they want and their skin is completely clear. None of them have really ever dealt with acne. Now thinking about my family, when my sister was younger, she dealt with acne. One of my sisters, older than both of us, kind of still deals with some body acne. And my mom, who is obviously much older, still gets pimples around that time of the month. Just from these separate instances, I can tell you acne is genetic, but there are also tons of studies online that we can also discuss. And this video does qualify for a giveaway. Yay! So if you are interested in winning the Vanish starter kit, all you have to do is comment down below and comment. What should you comment? Hmm. Comment one thing that you learned from this video. That's what the comment will be. <laughs> Another thing, I recently went on a road trip and my mother-in-law was in the bathroom and I was in the bathroom too, but I had just walked out of the stall and she was standing in front of the sink and she was washing her face with like the hand soap and she was like, it's an exfoliant. And I was like, oh my days, I can never do that. I'm breaking out literally just looking at you. So genetics, man, I swear. What do I mean by genetics? What I mean is we inherit certain traits from different parents. So like blue eyes, red hair, brown eyes, whatever. You inherit these traits from your parents. One trait that we also inherit from our parents that has been studied is acne. And acne is actually more closely relied to the X chromosome than the Y chromosome. So your dad has an X and a Y and your mom has two X chromosomes. And they have figured out that people like me if my dad had acne, I actually don't have, and not my mom, so if my dad had acne and not my mom, I have less of a chance of getting it than just if my mom had acne and I got it. Do you know what I mean? So acne is more prevalent in the X chromosome. And that's especially true in my case because I didn't think of maybe like one time my dad had a pimple and my mom still breaks out and all three of us girls still break out. So great, great, it's great, it's good, everything's good. There was a recent study done in pathogenesis and the treatment of acne, and what it reported was that you have about a 50-50 chance of developing the disease yourself if your parents have it. So it's not absolute, it's not guaranteed, you have about a 50-50 chance. And I feel like that's true too because I know tons of older people who have kids, their skin's completely clear, or vice versa. Parents have clear skin and then kids have acne. So it's really just one of those things that you might pick up the tree or you might not. And another thing about acne and genetics is that acne sufferers have a, tend to have a higher level of IGF-1 in their body. And what IGF-1 is, is a hormone that triggers inflammation. You can also find that in things like dairy products, milk, cheese, things like that. So that is why a lot of people might break out from eating dairy, me being one of them. But yeah, IGF-1 is no bueno. And that kind of explains why, so I have a higher level of inflammation. Okay, so like my inflammation level is here. And let's say a normal person's is here. So if they eat dairy, their inflammation level goes to there. If I eat dairy, my inflammation level skyrockets. So that's why certain people can eat whatever they want and their body reacts fine while others, like me and probably you watching, um, cannot eat whatever we want because our inflammation levels skyrocket and then it causes acne. So higher levels of IGF-1 in acne sufferers is also genetic. So like a big thing again is, will you get acne if your parents had it? 
Don't fret, just because your parents have acne does not necessarily mean that you yourself are going to get it. Again, it's about 50-50 chance. And just because it's genetic doesn't mean that there's nothing you can do about it, so you shouldn't feel like hopeless or out of options. I kind of feel like to a certain extent, that is sometimes used as an excuse. I think a lot of other things go into it. Like I said, it could be widespread bodily inflammation. It could be um, food sensitivities. It could be the cleanser you're using. It could be um, hair products, like anything. So I think saying just like, oh, it is genetics, so like I can't control it, is kind of like, <laughs> to a certain extent, yes, but I think that you can still manage it in everyday choices that you make. What I mean by that is like instead of choosing something super high in sugar or refined carbs that you know is going to spike your blood sugar, instead choose like, I don't know, salmon salad. Instead of staying up all night, which you know is going to throw off your body and your hormone levels and your stress, make sure you get eight hours of sleep. Like it's just little things that you can do to help combat it. And I really do believe that. I believe that healing acne is more of a holistic approach. I don't think it is just one thing. I think most of the time it is a couple of different things that manifest itself into acne. So I would not say, oh, I have it. So like it's genetic. I can't do anything about it. I think that there are always things you can do about it and you shouldn't just blame your disease on your genes because you can always find a way. Even if like, like now I'm like, Breaking out because I changed my diet. Find what works for you, find what doesn't work for you, you know? Like I said, it could be so many different things. And that doesn't also mean there could be behind the scenes stuff, such as like hormonal imbalances and gut issues as well, um, because those things are kind of harder to identify. So I know that it is super frustrating to like pinpoint what exactly is causing your breakout, but just don't say, don't be a cop out and say, oh, it's genetic, so like I can't do anything about it because to a certain extent, again, yes, but they're all small little things that you can do to try to figure it out. And I think that's the most important is to just be as proactive as you can about it. Long story short, yes, acne is genetic, but you can kind of try to control it or put out that inflammation by the little everyday choices that you make from food to exercise to sleep, etc. So yeah, acne is in your genes, girl. It's in the jeans. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, comment below to enter the giveaway, and subscribe to the Acne channel because they're awesome, why not, duh? All right, bye guys.